power of an image. It was transformative. But I think it's in our DNA to take care of future generations. And if you can find that, that way in, you can reach people really quickly and change them. The human eye is so limited, we see only a tiny little sliver of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's like if you owned a grand piano in your house, but you could only hear one note on it. Normally, carbon dioxide gas is invisible to the human eye, but certain wavelengths of infrared will be absorbed by gases like CO2 or methane. So that's what's going on here. This camera has a very particular color filter on it, enabling us to visualize the CO2 gas that's coming out of our noses and mouths. We have two cameras. One camera that sees what your eye sees, and the other, what the fossil fuel companies don't want the rest of the world to see, the carbon dioxide world. Let's do this one coming at us. Okay. Three, two. I mean, it's disgusting, but it's beautiful. So let's just go to the left here. On the left here? Real slow, well, These yeah. guys are going to be good. Slow, green. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly, 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 slowly. Wow. Just about everything that we do emits carbon dioxide from the way we heat and air condition our houses, the way we do our transportation systems, whether it's planes, trains, or automobiles. Just about everything pumps out vast amounts of carbon dioxide. But you can't see it. To be able to see this hidden world was like you were let in on this magic trick. But the magic trick is actually killing the planet. This looks like a big parade of crap, doesn't it? Just filth. I got. Uh -oh. So what are you working on, buddy? Come on in, I will show you. Is this your right. flux capacitor? It's uh, close. It's uh, right here, actually. I can spin this. You see this? It shoots carbon dioxide. I mean, what, the government hiring you? Who's doing it? You just doing an own thing yeah, or what? Yeah, it's like a science project. Just science science project. project. In many ways, our generation is the one with the last hand on the throttle that just pushes that throttle down.